T-Man 978 presents T-Man's Fig Hunt. I'm in a GameStop. I'll wait for you. Never seen him at Barnes and Noble or anywhere. Rube the Great. Hmm. Yeah. I got three Cobra Commanders. <laughs> I didn't know this existed. Yeah. So this is wave two, I guess. Gemini Saga and Aries Moon. Ultra Magnus. Here's the normal section right here. Mm. I bought this. I wish that I did not buy it because I got the new one coming out that I like better. Oh. oh every time I see this is at GameStop and I don't want to pay it. Five more freaking dollars. I mean, I do have a coupon, but that defeats the purpose. Cool. Now I'm at another GameStop. I'm out with Kevin, by the way. Art by Killer Kev on Instagram. So try to find him on Instagram. He doesn't do commissions. But if you comment, <laughs> if you comment and give him a suggestion of something to draw, he might draw it. And once it's on the internet, it's on the internet. I'm not telling you what to do, but it'll have his little watermark. But every GameStop has one of these. Before you scramble to the comments to tell me you bought this for $32.50 at Target, I already know. I already know. Thank you. Clearance for regular price. See? Look. I could have just got it. Wait, is it cheaper here or something? Yeah, it's still 50 Oh. He got the receipt. So I thought you were going to say that too. Let's see what else. I think we're about to go to a better store. But they finally decided to put something in here. Squirtle, Squirtle. I think I have Squirtle. I'm horrible. I'm buying stuff. I'm not even opening it. Every GameStop has one of these. Oh, when they first put these in GameStop, I thought they were going to do something better with them. This just looks... That looks horrible. But I guess they never got the PlayStation 5 stock, so... You gotta do what you gotta do. Alright, now we're in Target. And where the hell are we? Glen Burnie? They got this special little section. I think these are supposed to be like them 
Toys R Us. What's that? Ah. I'm a pony. I will leave him there. Oh, yeah. They still can't call him Mr. Satan. Let me go beat Kevin over here. Which I'm not. If we find Lady J and Flint, that would be awesome. Of course we ain't. Oh, man. I hope I don't smell it. Oh, they don't got shit. At least it's kind of organized, kind of. Yeah. Yeah. Holy moly. Yeah, so Maryland, I don't know what's going on with Maryland and Marvel Legends. They said she said Grant though. Wow. Hmm. Did you check the side? Damn, only one of these. I think the problem is we got too many collectors. Because that's the actual problem. They gotta be it. Because they bought all those little Masters of the Universe things. Right. It's like once you see the Masters of the Universe things in there, they're gone like the next day. Or a couple hours after. I just skip every single one of them. No, no, I've got like. I got two of them. They got the Oculus. Yeah, yes. I still have never walked in a store and seen a PlayStation 5. Are you there? Yikes. Yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Somebody had second thoughts on Cheetah. I don't blame him. Yikes, Kevin. <laughs> Ain't shit in here. Holy fuck. Oh, this ain't the... Oh, I wonder if this way he found the... Um... Oh, no. Was that the Netflix Cheetah? I seen it. It's at 40. I had it in my hand this morning. Right. I think he saw it. But I'm like, I'm going to have to make a, a decision. It's, it's a different call. Yeah. Wait, hold on. Yeah, it is Netflix. Mm. Somebody had their possible COVID-19 fingers all over this. At least they put the weapon in there, I guess. They they put it back. Who put it back? Somebody who bought it. Or maybe somebody tried to steal it. That's the right one, too. That's a different color, yeah. I can't believe this store don't have shit. Well, that's all the footage. Now we're in Best Buy, as you can probably tell. I'm going to start off with these Lego things, since I see them. Some people actually care about Lego. I'm going to skip all this because this is looking like nothing. I saw this. And I was wanting one. No. I was about to pick up him. Until I found out there was $25. I'm shocked Wonder Woman isn't on clearance everywhere. 
Yeah. Wow. Their action figure section is nothing like the one in um, Owens Mills. Nothing. Because this is a small little section right there. And half of it is cordless phones. I didn't even know they still sell them. It's the packaging making it look better. <laughs> Let me do flag on it. Up close. A special skill of skills. Well, I was, thought I was saying things, but it is paint on his little roof. Alright, I think we're still in Glen Burnie in Target. Let's see what they got here. Mm-hmm. Oh, I just remember something else I had to tell you off camera. <laughs> hey, people say they can't find this. It's two of them. I actually need to get that, but I don't You should before they freaking disappear. The Ugg Nut guy. Not that much stuff, it's still neat. Right, yeah. The sore is neat. Or at least organized. Hmm. Naruto dead. Yeah, this guy's in here. They got this. And this. I didn't even know what aisle these Goku was supposed to be in because they never in that aisle. I thought that was the end of my recording, but now I see they have a whole separate section. What? What? No. Pokemon cards. Yay. <laughs> Kevin and his son like Pokemon cards. His son like them. I got some Pokemon cards from some cereal. Um, did I open them? I can't remember what I did with them. They bought a whole bunch of cereal to get them special. I can't remember if I opened it. By the way, the Studio Series Voyager class is that price. I don't know if it's the Kingdom. It's not the scan it. Different stores. I have way different setups. NECA all the way down there. Let's film these people indiscriminately. Hello. Because he draws happy little trees. And you can make silly little pictures with them. Well, this is a small section. So, in this portion of the video, Kevin Womack who I was mentioning earlier, he actually is filming this footage. We were supposed to be going to Third Eye Comics, but when he decided to pick me up for this impromptu toy hunt, they, he came a little too late and yeah, they were closed. It was on a Sunday. But I see he's moving very steady and slowly and everything is in focus, so that's good. But I'm going to be sifting through seeing what should be shown and what shouldn't, so... And maybe seeing if things need to be sped up. But man, they have a lot more of these figures than I ever realized. Like, what was that movie called? Breaking? I, I didn't even get to read that right now. And look, they have a new Generations Transformers display. I don't remember that stuff being on display before. So that's cool. 
If I was here, I probably would have bought Ram Man right there from the Masters of the Universe Origins line. I don't know what that is. Maybe it's just a statue. But Ram Man brings back memories because I wound up getting that figure like three or four times on Christmas. He must have been like the only thing on the shelf. So everybody bought him. I mean, he was okay, but he had less articulation than the rest of the figures. Some of these I've never seen, so... I'm guessing they're wave three or maybe even four at this point. Will Smith? No, that's not Will Smith, is it? Yeah, I guess that's Will Smith. I never knew he had a little stuffed plushie. Here we are at Black Series. Looking at all those red boxes, those are probably figures you see everywhere. Yeah, I've seen all of these everywhere. None of the new figures that just came out. Seen these everywhere. Those I've bumped into in Barnes and Noble a bunch of times. Lancer, Lancer. Oh, Hubcap. I probably would have bought Hubcap if I was there. I ordered that from Hasbro Pulse. Got to the local FedEx place near me. Never delivered never delivered and oh yeah barring crazy prices i would pick some of this stuff up i wonder how much that iron hide is i know it's not cheap well if you are missing out on gi joe look like they have a bunch of them in there if you don't own Gung Ho or Cobra Commander, something's wrong with you. Because I see those all the time. And they even have Duke. The main two you should get is Duke and Cobra Commander. Both being the leaders and whatnot. And these statues, I'm not into statues. The only way I will start getting statues is when I'm living in a mansion somewhere. And those egg attack figures. That is a lot of Cobra Commanders. A lot. So yeah, if you don't own Cobra Commander, what's up with that? WWE. I don't have much to say about this. So you can look at this stuff. Mm -hmm. The main thing to note about this store, with it being a comic shop, most of the stuff is like $5 more than it should be. So, you have to really have in your mind frame, if you're going out here, that you're going to be paying convention prices. The good thing is all of that stuff is actually there and you can get your hands on it. Like right then and there, so you, you have to pay the it's in stock tax, I guess. I don't often see those Muppet figures. I've never seen that statue before either. I've seen a lot of this Mario and Sonic stuff in Target. Amazingly. Hello Kitty. You know, for years I'd been seeing Hello Kitty and I never knew she actually had a cartoon. Sort of like probably people with um, Betty Boop when Betty Boop was really popular about 20 years ago. She was on clothing and all types of other merchandise. I've never seen that Winnie the Pooh. I would have been, I probably would have took that down. I took a closer look at that.
Mhm. Ja. Ja. Those Bruce Lee figures, a lot of people like them, but they look weird to me. Mortal Kombat. I think some of those are like repaints of Scorpion and Sub-Zero. I haven't seen those in stores. Wow. What brand is that? 50 bucks? I'm guessing he... Oh, he knocked it on the damn floor. <laughs> I thought he's buying that. Well, maybe he is. I don't know. I don't think he was talking much during this footage. If at all. But definitely the music was super loud. So that's why I'm here with this voiceover. Bucky. Come to Bucky O'Hare. I know he bought at least one of these. I've seen him in one of his toy hauls with one of these people. I don't, I wonder, I don't know what stores those are going to be in, but I think they have more articulation than they used to back in the day. Oh, look at that. Oh, I think that's the first time they, one of these characters, it's the first time they were released in toy form. Those look kind of cool, especially for people that like that show a lot. I was only a passing fan. I remember watching a few episodes. I can't remember how old I was when I came out. Mm-hmm. If you don't own... Oh, I, I probably would have bought Jameson. I still don't have Jameson. Mm-hmm. I think these are NECA. But the packaging makes me think they're Mego. Looks like a bunch of people left those door flaps open and didn't shut them. I can't imagine a store people left it open like that. Or maybe their adhesive gave leaves or something. Zera. You know what? I was gonna cut some of this footage, but it's actually soothing watching him slowly go through all this and taking in every single thing. At least it is for me. I hope it is for you guys. Sometimes I, when I'm doing this, I feel super overwhelmed. It's so much. I want to film, but I also want to actually look at what I want to purchase myself. So that makes things a little bit difficult. Well, yeah. Go to your local comic shop if you have one. This one is far from being local to me. I mean, as local as in I could drive there or get a ride there, but it, it is very far. I can't even think of. There used to be a few comic shops near me that I used to like going to, but they pretty much all closed even before the freaking pandemic. Which is disappointing. I think these are, well, the ones at the top look like Bazuju, or however you pronounce that, statues. Hmm. Statues, not super my cup of tea. I'm not saying they're bad, and I do like looking at stuff like that, like, but that's all I do. Look at it for a couple seconds, like, oh, that's that's awesome. But I like articulated action figures. Super articulated action figures. The 
guess we're getting close to McFarland right there. There we go. A lot of these figures I've been seeing over and over again. That Damian Wayne, I thought I would never see. Especially with how the Robin Crow sold out. But I've seen Damian Wayne like several times. I've seen him in GameStop, I think Best Buy. I can't think if I've seen him in Target. Now we're close to the SH Figure Arts. I have a hard time buying. I, I often see SH Figure Arts on clearance or very low prices on Amazon and other places. So I have a super hard time buying them at full price in here. Those body cone things right there are expensive. Well, the male I see is called body cone and the other one is body chan. So I'm wondering, does that mean man, woman in Chinese or, or Japanese? Some of these I don't think I've seen yet. Oh boy, I wish Barnes & Noble was still open right by my job. They used to have different SH Free Watch from time to time. So, some of those Figma I have, I saw Diva. Oh, I didn't know they had um, what are they, the Foosh figures? I forgot what they're called. I didn't know they had TB League. Is that just the regular naked body? Oh, I can't see what that says. Me, eh, if you can see what that says, good for you. <laughs> what the heck is that? Them articulated icons. I had never seen them being sold in regular stores. So. They probably bought them online when they were cheap recently. And I didn't see what price they're selling them for. But those things were on clearance a while ago. For a really, really good price. I wonder how much Sagat is. I used to love Super R-Type on Super Nintendo. I don't think I've ever to this day beat that game because it was hard. But I love the music. I used to turn it on just so I can hear the music. Oh, I wonder how much that is. Those have been on clearance everywhere as well. The Gears of War figures from Stomp Collectibles. Here is Marvel Select. Along with Marvel Legends. So it is nice to be able to find this stuff. More statues, it looks like. Of anime characters. Mostly Goku, from what I'm seeing. Or other Saiyans. Yeah, I don't 
don't know who that is. Hierophant Green. Is that JoJo? Well, yeah. I'm going to speed up the footage here. This stuff is interesting, but I'm running out of stuff to say about some of this, these things. So stay tuned. And would you look at that? I speed this up when it's almost over anyway. But most of those are Nindoroids. Nindoroids are cute and lovable and expensive. But anyhow, thank you so much, Kevin, for this footage. All right, it's been a whole week since those other previous clips, and I'm going to just end in this Walmart. And I'm not saying nothing in this clearance aisle, so let me get out of here. I honestly turned in there because this big booty chick was like right in my view sight, and I want them to think I'm trying to film her on purpose. But, uh, yeah. Let's see what they do and don't have. I'm guessing this is the whole big G.I. Joe section with these little things that no one wants. They got some Mario stuff randomly up there that's probably not supposed to be up there. Retro Ghostbusters that have been out for a year. Used to be hard to find. Now they aren't so much. Um... It looks like they rearranged things to make this section bigger. So, they do have some Marvel Legends. Happy to see that. Um, they got these guys. Mostly, it looks like it's just Superman turned evil. Megatron, yes. Excuse me, sir. You're right. Uh, there are two Megatrons. And we know we love Megatron. Actually, three. See him over there? Awesome. They got random Netflix Cheetor trying to make me buy it. And they got this star screen that people are upset that I didn't buy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Looks like just wave one of these guys. Yeah. Yeah. I have a review on most of this stuff. You know what? Let me get star screen. And I'm gonna put Cheetor in the cart just in case. They got these um Apex Legends that don't have ankle pivot. And I don't think many of them have a real App crunch. So I don't like that. But maybe they can be, if they weren't $20, their accessories are cool. Now, this side, which looks like a lot of Mario stuff, probably should be here. $10 for each plus. I saw Star Wars stuff over here. Still only He-Man. No Skeletor this time. Just Battle Cat, not a Panther. Like this flocked one right here. Apparently, and I don't know how true this is, because I haven't looked it up. I heard that there's a flock Panther this size. Look at this. Princess. 
or Queen Amadala. This actually looks good. I don't think that it's 20 bucks. Where should this be? Twelve dollars. Mm, this actually looks good. Well, wow, that is an awesome. I never thought I would see focus come on you. I never thought I would see faces that look this good on the small figure. AEW, which I almost wish I watched. These feel light. Oh, look at that skateboard in there. I don't know who he is, but he looks cool. I believe these are seven inch figures and not six inch. Hmm. I would say maybe I'll start watching that, but that's going to be a lie. It's hard to get me to watch other popular shows that people watch. I don't know why I came to their little video game section. They don't have anything. I mean, this might be exciting as crap to some pop collector. I'm pretty sure there's something here somebody can't find somewhere. But guess what? T-Man don't care. I'm still here. I have no clue where the sound wave materialized from. But... Let me pick it up. Yeah, he was hitting. Oh, he was? He was all the way at the top. Oh. And I got him because I already have one, so. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. I did not see that. See, man? Yes. Looked in the rob here. He actually found where they were hiding this sound wave. I sure did. I'm not picking it up. Nobody. I, I tried to contact people to see if anybody wanted it. But, um, yeah. I'm going to put the name of his channel right here. So you can visit his channel and give it some love. But, all right. I'm going to end my footage here because I haven't found anything really. And I don't know if I'm getting that cheat art. But, anyway, thank you all for watching. Well, see you in the next clip. Wasn't that quite the adventure? Thank you for watching this long. But anyway, if you're following me on Instagram, you probably already saw that I have Scarlet here. The repaint right there. I also picked up Roadblock, if you couldn't tell that. Anywho, if you have Instagram and you're not following me, please push pause right now and go to Instagram and start following me. I would love to get more love over on Instagram. I have 21,000 people here. I knew a lot of y'all have Instagram. Please follow me on Instagram. It is so boring, like... I bought this whole backdrop and whatnot. It, it even before that, like some pictures take a lot of time to set up posing, getting the figure to stay in place and whatnot. Then you put the picture up and get 50 likes, even though you have 2,000 followers. That's that's boring. So if you are a real fan of mine and you have Instagram and you like the things that I do. Sometimes I post stuff there that I don't put on on YouTube. So that's a plus right there. And I would just love to have more people that actually like what I do following me on Instagram. That would be fun. Yeah, I, I know people say don't let likes and all that stuff be the judge of you or you should don't value that too much. But screw all that. I like getting likes. Uh, I always think it's hilarious when people post just random things and get like 500 likes they could post a picture of a cheeseburger 500 likes and they're a toy channel anyway i picked up these two i got this because it was on clearance and i want to eventually be a build that dog i still need to get uh dana i did get the star screen and i for lack of better judgment I did get that cheetor. Oh boy. Looking at all that empty space in that box. I'm regretting my purchase. But I, I don't I think they're not full price. At least that's a consolation, at least. Anywho, thank you guys again for watching this. Until next time, T Man 978, out of here. 
Join the Syndicate Toy Hunters Facebook group. Link in the description. Click, click the videos. Click the f***ing videos, baby. Click, click the videos. You should really click these videos. Click, click the videos. Click the f***ing videos, baby. Click, click the videos. You really should click those videos. Click that shit.